Hello everyone and welcome to weather. So firstly, there is mostly some low level convergence presently around and with some more of this surface convergence on its way, we can be anticipating some more showers ahead for this week. So across the Les Antilles at this moment, there's mainly weak low level convergence and patchy moisture advection around. And due to some increased surface convergence ahead of a low level trough, there were some thunderstorms across the southern Windward Islands and Trinidad and Tobago during the afternoon period. Now, with the passage of a low level trough from late Monday night into Tuesday 23rd, this is going to result in some instability. Then into the midweek Wednesday 24th, surface convergence increases between Trinidad and Tobago and the southern Windward Islands. Leeward Islands, rather, because of the modulation of the ITCZ, bringing some more of these showers ahead this week. So with the occurrence of any heavy shower or thunderstorm, winds can become gusty and street or flash flooding is also likely. Also, please remember... Precipitation over elevated areas raises the risk of landslides or even landslips. So please be careful when driving in heavy showers and even on the hills. And at present, there is generally a high concentration of Saharan dust over Tobago and a moderate concentration over Trinidad, tending to be high in northern areas, especially seen yesterday over the hills. And this should remain so until Tuesday morning, that's tomorrow, when that concentration is likely to be reduced to generally mild, occasionally moderate, up until Wednesday. So please, persons who are sensitive to that dust haze, Take care of yourselves. Now, looking at current conditions now, after Piaco's high at 32.9 degrees Celsius earlier today, right now it's at 29. And after Crown Point's max at 32.2 degrees Celsius earlier today, right now it's only at 31. Now, for tonight's forecast in Tobago, watch for a stray thunderstorm late and temperatures should dip to a warm low at 26 degrees Celsius over at Crown Point tonight. And for Piaco, Trinidad, that temperature will reach a low at 24 degrees Celsius for tonight. And also for those here in Trinidad, there is a 30 to 40 percent chance of isolated thunderstorm activity, mainly after midnight. And back over in Tobago for Tuesday, conditions are still on the partly cloudy end of things, with temperatures reaching 31 degrees Celsius for tomorrow. Meanwhile, in Trinidad, you can expect a daytime high of 32 degrees Celsius. And also watch out for those isolated thunder showers at a 40% chance, which is medium. Now ahead to your midweek for Wednesday, with the modulation of the ITCZ, there should be some variably cloudy skies with periods of showers and that 40 to 60 percent medium chance of a few heavy showers or thunderstorms. And though conditions should settle by late afternoon, there may be a few lingering showers. And into your Thursday, we are looking at initially fair but hazy conditions around, becoming partly cloudy with occasional showers, but with a 30 percent low chance of the isolated thunderstorm. And this seems to continue into the night with occasional party cloudy spells and a few showers around. Now in the marine forecast, seas are still slight to moderate with waves from one to two meters in open waters and below one meter in sheltered areas. And your high tides for Port of Spain will be at 5 a.m. and 6.02 p.m. with those low tides at 11.33 a.m. and 11.42 p.m. And over in Tobago, high tides will be at 4.34 a.m. and 5.31 p.m. with your low tides at 11.17 a.m. and back at 11.15 p.m. So for your recap, more showers on the way for this week due to the increase in surface convergence and the ITCZ. So watch out while driving in these heavy showers. Back to you, Keisha.